just uh, want to start out by uh, congratulating the Gales on a great season and, and putting up a good fight tonight. Um, I thought that we were, you know, a, a little tight coming out of the game and settled into bed. I thought we were pretty good on the night. Um, in first ball side out, I didn't think we were very good in transition defensively or offensively, so that's something we got to do better tomorrow night. Um, but it was a, it was a you know pretty balanced attack, and uh, it was good to get the first one over out of like off our chest because we've been you know, we haven't played since uh, last Wednesday, so I think there was a um, a lot of anticipation for this game. But proud of the girls for having the season they have had, and excited to come back tomorrow. I, I don't know yet. When it came to your serve receive, I mean, you guys didn't hit well in the first set. How did you guys have to adjust to get better opportunities? Um, I I think it was more just us getting back to us. We you know our timing was off. We were I just think we were a little queued up, and uh, and so I think we just kind of went back to uh, the speed of our offense. Our hitters maybe waited a little longer, and um, and we're and we're just more patient. Didn't you know? Kind of took the the spot in the court that was given to him. Did you say anything after that first set to kind of get your girls more loosened up? Um, well, I, you know, I, <laughs> I thought we played pretty good at the end of the first set, so I think, you know, we were already feeling better going into the second. Um, you know, you know, we just focus a lot with this team on defense, and so that was something we thought we could do a little bit better. So that's what we were talking about between one and two. And then for either one of the players, I mean, this is the third year in a row you guys are going to have the opportunity to advance past the second round. This is the first time you get to do it at home. Uh, how do you guys want to take advantage of this opportunity to, you know, continue setting new standards for the program? Um, yeah, this is an opportunity that we may not ever get again, so we really want to take advantage of that. Um, not being at Penn State is also awesome. And um, we've played Michigan before, and we're going to scout them really hard, and we just really want to get to our goal of where we want to be. It's just the Sweet 16. Yeah, we're just really excited to have the advantage of playing at home in front of the home fans. And I think that's going to help us a lot, too, because having a lot of fans at a game motivate, motivate us even more. And I think that that's going to help us, too. And when it came to uh, how you guys had to adjust uh, after being on, were you guys not anticipating seeing that many free balls? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know if it's something we talked about a lot, <laughs> yeah. but um, but yeah, I, we just we just weren't great in transition in general. That's part of it. So we we can we can do a lot better job in trans. Nick, you mentioned uh, the crowd, things like that. The, the crowd's been building and getting bigger as the season's gone on. Obviously, the venue's getting bigger too. You moved <laughs> your last two games from the Fitzgerald to here. What's it, what's the difference playing in this atmosphere at the Peak rather than playing at home at, at the Fitzgerald? I mean, we still love playing in the uh, Fitzgerald house, <laughs> but um, I think one advantage that really helps us is the new floor, Terraflex, because it's way easier to dive and um, dive for the balls. And I don't know, just playing in the bigger um, gyms with bigger crowds, especially for me, that motivates me even more and helps me even more. So if we could like play in the Pied, the entire time, that would be great, but still, I still love Phil House. <laughs> Leo, what was it like for you getting your 1,000th kill? Honestly, <laughs> before the game, I wasn't even thinking about it, and then during the game, coach mentioned it, and I was like, whatever, but now it's like coming <laughs> behind me, and I'm just like really thrilled and grateful again for like being here, and yeah, so like I'm really happy that I achieved that, and but yeah, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We have, uh, you know, we struggled at the start of the year. We had some injuries, and so we have Zoe and we have um, uh, Chi as an option on the left too. And um, so we'll we'll see, we'll see what happens over the next twenty four hours. I'll say, how do you think Zoe played when she came in? Uh, she passed really well, and she was uh, a little up and down offensively. So she was really a short amount of you know attempts. So. Um, but we've, she's been really good for us at times this year, so.